Two for London. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Gundam Battle Operations 2 video. Today we have a Gelgoog Marine. Yeah. And that also leads me to the reason why the episode is called Tufelhunden. That is a mistranslation of the German word for devil dog, and supposedly it is what the German troops called the U.S. Marines during World War I, and my dad was a Marine. Not during World War I, my dad's not nearly that old. Well, my dad would be probably dead. But he was a Marine regardless, so I... yeah. Anyway, this is a Gelgoog Marine, it is a raid type, and it is one of, if not my favorite, Gelgoog variant. And I was super happy to get this thing. I've had it for a while. I haven't had the chance to use it. It can run the MMP-80 machine gun, which it uses in the animation. And it can run the standard Gelgoog beam rifle. I'm running the beam rifle, and I've got it painted in these white and red colors. Kind of makes me look like a, um, like an ambulance. And I'm here with Alucard. He is in the Zaku-1 sniper. This is a 400-point room, so that's probably a rather high-level Zaku sniper. But I know he really likes that thing, so he'll use it any chance he gets. And there goes my damn shield. Because there is something, I think it's a gem cannon 2 shooting at me. We do okay in this match. I just, I don't know. There was a couple of things I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep this match. A, because we did alright. And B, because I really like the Gelgoog Marine. It also... Besides its beam saber and uh, the beam rifle, or machine gun, it has uh, Gatling guns in its arm. Which is nice. <clears throat> yeah, I'm tearing that Gundam Pixie apart. Yeah, this is when I start to get annoyed by that Jim Cannon 2 over there. I kind of ignore him, because I'm like, oh, well, I've got type advantage against him. So... And then he starts to just keep staggering me, so I get pissed off, and I'm like, alright, you and I are going to tangle. And then he still continues to stagger me, and I get more pissed, and I just continue to ignore him after that. But yeah, he's doing damage, but not enough. And I'm surprised that didn't stagger him, and I don't know what staggered me. I didn't figure he hit me with enough shots. And then this poor Zaku 2 comes up. There are a lot of new players joining in on... Uh, and he got stuck up there, I don't understand, but I was like, oh, well, I'll capitalize on that. There are a lot of new players that are joining in in these higher level rooms. I mean, that's fine. I don't care. But a lot of people complain about it, I've noticed. But there's a lot of new players joining in with, like, 1 to 200 to 250, maybe 300 cost machines into, like, 4 and 450, even, I think, unrestricted rooms. And that puts them at a massive disadvantage. Yeah, that's a 100 cost mobile suit. So that's a level 1 Zaku 2. It's unfortunate... Because they're not going to be able to do much. They're going to do reduced damage. They're going to take more damage because they have less defense. And yeah. Yeah, then me and this ground combat Gelgoog tangle. I want one of those so bad. I love the beam rifle the ground combat Gelgoog runs. If he hadn't have tackled, he would have probably been able to kill me. But he screwed up and tackled. But that's a support type. So I have advantage against him. think we win this round? I honestly don't remember. I lose more rounds than I win lately. That's just the way things go. Hopefully I can get the, uh, because there's another version of the Gelgu Marine, the, uh, Gelgu Marine Commander type, although the only one you see is, uh, Sima Gar Gar House Gar House The reason I was sitting here, because I thought there was an enemy gonna walk by, but he was actually below me. But the Galgo Marine Commander Seema's version is in the game, and I think it's in general. I'm actually not sure, but I would like to get it to drop, because it gets to use the cool uh, Galgo Marine Commander's beam machine gun. And that thing is pretty cool. I'll just probably end up putting normal Galgo Marine colors on it. Which in a Gundam Encounters in Space, it was a PS2 game. You could actually just get the Galgoog Marine Commander in it, and it was just in regular Galgoog color, so that was nice. Yeah, this Jim, Armored Jim, he's a prime example of tunnel vision, and he should have been paying attention to the two dudes behind him trying to kill him, but he just wanted to kill. And don't get me wrong, I tunnel vision out all the time, but yeah, he should have been paying more attention to the two of us, I think, than trying to get that kill, and thinking that he was going to escape was laughable, because there was no way he was going to. Not with the amount of health he had, and two people, like, literally right on top of him. He 
can't believe I missed that shot. And I didn't think that the Pixie Gundam, two submachine guns, would stun so quickly, but... The Pixie is, like, fragile as hell. But it's, I haven't got the chance to play as it yet. But I do love the Pixie Gundam. I need to paint mine up in Fred Reber's colors. And then, yeah, this is when I decided to call in the air support, which I don't think kills anybody. They're all pretty well bunched up over there, but... And for some reason, I kept hitting triangle to try to call my mobile suit in, and triangle is the melee button for the pilot. So I just started swinging my knife randomly. There's Alucard again. Oh, there's a G-Line Assault Armor. That thing's pretty nifty. And I think, yeah, this is one he... Yeah. I... That was, like, too easy to read. I knew he was going to do it before he did it anyway because he stunned me and the downswing on the Assault Armor has a shit ton of range. <clears throat> And then that freaking armored GM, those things, GM, Jim, I'm sorry, the armored Jim, they get on my nerves because I, they're hard, for whatever reason, they're hard to stun. Do they, I, they might have maneuver armor, I don't remember, I don't play as the armored Jim as much anymore. I try my hardest to avoid the bazooka meta because it just gets on my nerves that everybody's like, oh, shoot him in the feet and melee him. I try to avoid that, but sometimes you just have to play with the meta. I actually really am looking forward to hopefully getting some custom rooms set up where bazookas are not allowed. Because it'll be fun to actually play a match with like machine guns and stuff like that. Teammate exploded. But yeah, playing a match with just machine guns would be a lot of fun. And this gym, armored gym, his shield absorbs so much damage, and I don't understand how or why. And again, he's just ignoring me, like, that's really stupid. Granted, I'm being really bad and not hitting him, but I don't understand why he's ignoring me. Like, that's not a good thing to do. Don't ignore the guy shooting you in the back. Because he's going to get killed here in a second. Because he's going to get swarmed by me and the teammate off to my left. And then I try to walk through that and can't. He's going to protect the dude that planted the bomb at our base. But, I mean, oh well. He was still... Oh, stupid. Don't tunnel vision out that hard. Pay attention. Don't... Be stupid, I guess. Although I do it too. So, I mean... Whatever. I'm just saying, like, you, you gotta pay attention. I mean, we weren't gonna be able to defuse that bomb anyway. We were all way too far away. So none of us were trying to defuse the bomb. And as I'm sitting here saying, don't tunnel vision out, I tunnel visioned out and just followed that guy. But, whatever. Hypocrisy is the better part of democracy. Or something. I don't know. I just made that up off the top of my head. Ugh... <laughs> uh. And then I think here at the end, I just try to annoy Alucard, because I'm like, yeah, well, we won. We're good. I think... I want to see... There we go. What's the final scores look like? Hey, I had top damage dealt. That's pretty good. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And I will see you all next time. Until then, take it easy and have a good one. Later.